one more week, girlfriend. Here we go again. I know. And next Wednesday is our first live stream chat. Oh. Us live, taking your sex questions. It's going to be fun. Okay, you promise it'll be fun? I'll do it. Which I thought we'd talk a little bit about the body sex effect that has been happening since the film was released, and it's getting into all of our little Kickstarter donor hands. So listen to this. In front of our wonderful followers and friends, I want to thank this woman publicly. <gasps> I do indeed. I kicked and screamed and she yelled. I was, <laughs> I was a no, not during the shoot. I simply shut up and let it go. You did, you did. But afterwards, it was I don't like this and that. And she had to just use her lawyer technique to go stone face and sit there. <laughs> I wanted to smash her. Oh, I, sometimes she would look at me, and I would always say her Cartmans are up because her eyebrows go wrinkle, <laughs> and she had so much rage. And I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do? Just, you didn't do anything. Yeah, I said, I said, I'm like, just go within. And so I processed it. Have compassion. It, and I found out that what I was struggling with was the image, my nude image of an old lady. And I don't identify with that. And so now I understand that my age is also my power and that I'm not going to get any more. You know, like my dentist wanted to put a little Botox up here because... Oh, come on, 83 Botox? No. no. I'm, I'm past all of that. Yes, no. I'm just, I'm going to be... This wise woman, a crone. So, yes, the body sex effect. That's how it affected me. It got me over my age, fear yeah. of aging. Do you understand how big that is? I No, that's why I had compassion, and that's oh. why I, I would get mad, but what am I going to do? I don't know what it's like to be on camera <laughs> naked at 83. I can't say. It's awful! I can't speak to that. And then, you know, my first reaction when I saw my image was like, Oh, I, 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 you know, I didn't do, we didn't do makeup. We said, let's go for a natural face. I thought maybe I should have put on an eyeliner and, oh my God, this tooth goes in. And, and then I stopped myself and I said, the point of this film is to heal that little part of us that no matter what we are and what we look like and what we achieve, we're not good enough because we're women. I could not believe we made the decision to go almost no makeup. Well, I felt like we, it's, it's, here's what it's like. It's real womanhood. It, it, this is what I look like instead of putting on a mask. And we were all naked. And I loved when we went around the circle and everyone talked about how before the shoot they thought they'd lose some weight. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll tone up. And none of us did it. No, no. You know, and I think that's the point. The point is, is that none of us prepared. We were who we are. And we got in front of that camera. We're getting emails from women that are holding their own body yeah. sex groups. And I didn't know if we made that clear in the film and some of the interviews, but that's what we hoped. Well, that's what we wanted. It's like a plan is working. <laughs> this, this, this is why I want to thank you publicly. I never thought I'd get this far ever. And so she just pushed through everything. Me, my grumpy complaint, that little, <laughs> she did a little granny abuse, but listen, <laughs> whatever, get the job done. And now I, I'm very grateful to have lived long enough to see this happening. The work I began back in, in 1970. Well, I, I can't imagine as an artist to see your work is still um, vital and real and it's still working. And this was It spans how many generations? That's an accomplishment. Yes, it is. It is. It is an accomplishment. And beyond the fact that it's an accomplishment, it was the idea that other women would do this. So th to me, this was the women's movement. Yes, yes. And that's what we always say, the next phase of, uh, uh, phase of feminism is sexual liberation. Oh, wow. And we've been talking about it. And I was looking over my first notebook when we sat down three years ago and mapped out what we were going to do. And it's like we've fulfilled everything that we were set yeah, out yeah, to do. yeah. But it's like you don't go through knowing every detail, but it was yeah. like, okay, we're going to revitalize feminism. This time with sex. And this time with sex. And I never thought it would be filming another body sex group. It was just that was our goal and our intention and what we wanted. Uh, I knew we had to, and I didn't want to. No, she didn't. No, she I didn't. She didn't at all. And we just pushed and pushed. She just put together an essay on how to have your own body sex group. We're posting it on the site. I'll put the link in here. You can yeah. watch the film. Yeah. The first group is being held in Portland. The second group is going to be held in France. And let's hope for yeah. them just going yeah. across the globe. I just that was one of our images. Yeah. 
Carlin said, I can see uh, this map of the United States, and every time someone's on our website, a light will, and at some, all of the lights all yeah. over the globe. Everyone's connected. Now we just got one from Romania. Did you see that? I know. So now we're really going global, <laughs> which is very exciting. So thank you. I love it.